Before we begin, I'll show you how to create a whole model of an aquifer to get a better idea of where we want water to go. Here's what you'll need. A glass jar or other clear container, modeling clay to fit across the bottom of the jar, enough of the following to fill about one quarter of the jar, rocks, gravel, sand, soil, watering can or other container of water. So now let's make an aquifer model. First flatten the modeling clay and place it at the bottom of the jar. This represents the clay at the bottom of an aquifer. Remember, an aquifer refers to the spaces way down in the ground where water is stored. Next, add the rocks. The space between the rocks creates our aquifer, where the groundwater will be stored. Next, add gravel and then sand to create more layers of the ground where water will travel through to get to the aquifer. Lastly, add soil at the top until our container is nearly full. Now let's see what happens when it rains. I'm going to use a watering can to act like rain. Slowly pour the water over the top of the soil. Watch as the water seeps through each of the layers and stops at the bottom of the aquifer. This may take some time. Remember, the water that makes its way into the aquifer is called groundwater. What we are observing is infiltration, the process of water entering the soil. The water infiltrated the soil pretty easy with our model. I wonder what it would look like with other types of soil surfaces.